evening, everyone. I am Dia Champ, Director of Middle Schools and the Lead Director for the Henrico Virtual Academy. Thank you for joining us this evening for this prospective student information session. Today, Gary Marshall, the Principal of Henrico Virtual Academy, or what we call HVA, and I will provide you with information about HVA and how to apply for the 22 23 school year. So, to tell you a little bit about HBA. HBA opened its virtual doors on September 8th, 2021. As of today, we currently have 1,327 students. For the fall of 2022, we anticipate enrolling 1,066 returning students. This leaves open spots to fill for additional students. Our application process begins on Monday, April 11th and goes through April 29th and a rubric will be used to determine interested applicants readiness according to attendance, grades, and a recommendation from their teacher at the elementary level or their school counselor from the secondary level. HBA is Henrico County's only K-12 school and will continue to offer a wide variety of courses to students enrolled from kindergarten to 12th grade including advanced and honors courses. Performing arts courses will not be an option for secondary students, but we are looking at the possibility of expanding our options to include courses more suited in the virtual world to include additional courses related to computer science. High school students will continue to have access to A Center courses in person. However, specialty center and IB courses are not offered through the HVA. If your student has elected to attend a specialty center, HBA would not be an option for your student. HBA have chosen to work with us because they excel in the virtual classroom. They regularly participate in professional learning designed to help engage students in the virtual environment. There are close to 150 staff members associated with the HBA this year. Our staff look forward to continuing to hone their skills moving into next school year. Now, Gary Marshall, principal of HVA, will talk about some of the great things planned for next year. I mute. It has to happen every time, doesn't it? <laughs> thank you, Dr. Champ, and thank you everyone for coming this evening. I'm excited to share some more information with you about the Henrico Virtual Academy and the application process with you all this evening. We were fortunate this year to have a very active PTSA. For next year, we'll continue the work that our phenomenal PTSA has started. You are invited to join us in this work as we continue to find creative ways to engage with our community. In addition to having events for students and staff, we also have events exclusively for parents, such as evening technology workshops and curriculum spotlights. This summer, we will host orientation sessions to, to acclimate our families to the virtual environment for the next school year. The Henrico Virtual Academy continues to build our brand and website. Our mascot was selected from student submissions and will be digital and ready for spirit wear after spring break. As we move into the next school year, we will continue to maintain a physical office space at Holiday Elementary School. The HBA communicates to family through a weekly email. We also have a very active Twitter and Facebook account where we post frequently. If you haven't followed us yet, please be sure to check us out so that you can see what's going on at the Henrico Virtual Academy on a regular basis. <clears throat> Our HBA students have access to a wide variety of events to help keep them involved, including contests and competitions throughout the school year. As the HBA grows into a school for next year, more clubs and extracurricular activities will be added. Students will also continue to be able to participate in athletics at the home schools. Now I want to spotlight some events we've had this year during and after school to connect to our families and students. As a virtual school, we highlight digital citizenship and also celebrate monthly cultural events. Students participate in and lead many of our events and school happenings, including our morning announcements. Like any school, we have spirit weeks as a class and as a school. Each month, our elementary teachers host a story time for all students and families. We've also held a math night, a fall festival, 
multiple author visits, including one we just had today, career spotlights, including two we had today, um, where we have guest speakers invited to attend and speak to our students, a few in-person events like our turkey trot and in-person spirit nights, such as our spirit night planned for Sweet Frog tomorrow evening. We look to grow and expand these events to include additional in-person events as well as we receive input from our community. Students receive special recognition throughout the school year, and we plan on increasing our student recognition efforts as we feel we can never do enough to shout out the amazing work that our students do as part of the HVA. Keeping our students engaged while learning virtually has been a constant focus for our staff and will remain a focus. HVA teachers will continue to focus on building community and getting students to interact with their teachers and each other while online through collaborative projects. We are also looking at ways to make our schedule more flexible while still meeting the academic demands of students as we have flexibility as a virtual school. Our staff are also busy getting ready hands on materials for the first day of school so that they can increase engagement while students are offline. Now let's hear from some of our students who can say it even better than I can. Let me make sure I shared sound. So one second. Could you please tell me what's going well for you as being part of the HVA? Um, I'm learning lots of things from my teacher and especially math. Great. Kenyon, what's going well for you? Um, the I just like um my it's easier. I feel like it's easier for me to learn, especially with math. I used to like kind of struggle with that a little bit with this new math, but they really help me a lot. The communication that I have with my teachers, my teachers are always there to um, help me with um, problems that I have, especially during office hours, or even just a simple email that I send. They're always there to respond or um, give me the answer. And everything, and I have been really catching up with my work, and I really like science. As far as learning goes, you get straight to the point when you're learning virtually. You don't really have too much time to distract yourself. What? Well, I have a lot of time in office hours, so I can make up work. I love how office hours at the end of the day, because we get to reflect on all of our classes and just piece together, oh, do you have any questions? And get a chance to meet with them. It's just really good and I love it. It like gives you a chance to study, like get everything together, even from your day ones. It's just really good. You know, it's a, it, it has everything like organized so you have enough time to do certain things like classwork. And there's time for you to go ahead and ask your teachers, hey, can you help me with this? As in like office hours. So I'd say it's going well. It's going well. Our lunch break, our lunch break is long because I cook my own lunch, and 1150 to 1230 is pretty a pretty good reasonable amount of time to eat your lunch. Making new friends and being in clubs. Um, it was a group project I did at my first block. It was super funny, and I made friends with like everybody in my group. When my teacher sent me a um, postcard thing in the mail saying that I had the highest uh, percentage grade in her class, like that was my favorite. That touched my heart. Like I ain't never had nobody just send me anything in the mail like that, you know. When we were in AP Psychology, we were doing a Nearpod with mind games on it. We we had fun and we got a good laugh out of it. Staying home, 
being able to be in a comfortable environment with things that you need in order for yourself to be sick well successful i'd say that one i think uh my favorite part about virtual school is that meanies can't ruin their stuff like uh, if you were virtual a meanie wouldn't really ruin their things because they're on the computer not just in front of you don't get distracted as much i feel like you can get your work done a lot better a lot quicker a lot more efficient there, there's a lot of things um, I don't have to do a lot of paperwork and have to keep on bringing my papers home and everything. It's always my computer and I always have things scheduled and I know where it's at. It's being able to do it from home and do things more on my own pace. Our teachers, they're so kind and helpful and they love um, to help us be smarter and ready for um, the next grade. Aiden, thank you. Able to like move around, get into whatever spot is comfortable for you. Um, and it's just more, I don't, it's just comfortable to do your class again. Probably office hours overall because I don't think in person you can really get that extra time with your teachers unless it's planned. I would say the virtual platform, it's helped me to concentrate more. Um, and so that I can focus more on my assignments, what I need to do, and what I need for improvement. I definitely recommend it. It's very, this school, it's very flexible to your schedule, um, again, and it's just, everybody is so outgoing here. I would tell them it's a great opportunity to do things at your own pace, and everyone I've talked to on HBI is amazing. All the teachers and counselors are extremely helpful, and they answer you really quick if you have any questions. It is definitely something that I think everyone should try at least once. All right, so I hope you enjoyed hearing from some of our students about their experiences with the HVA and they particularly enjoy the schedule and they are able to connect with their teachers and with their peers, even though we are virtual. So um, I'm glad that you got to hear from them. If your family is interested in applying, I'm going to walk you through the application process in just a minute. Keep in mind that before starting the application, it is helpful to have the following items before applying. One, your child's student ID number and either your child's teacher's email address or your school counselor's email address. That'll be put into the application. So the application window is gonna be open from April 11th to the 29th. Proof of residency in Henrico County is required and documentation will be required as well. So I'm gonna to move to the application process and walk you through what that will look like. This will be posted on our school website, Henrico Virtual Academy Henrico Schools US on April 11th, and it'll look sort of like this. There may be some minor changes, but I'm going to start by filling it out with you and talking through some of the steps. So again, the recommendation is required. We will notify students of acceptance decisions by May 16th. We'll also send out the recommendation letters automatically for you to the that's why the email address is important. So if you're a rising K through five student or rising one through five student, rather, your teacher will complete a recommendation form. If you're a rising six through 12 student, the secondary school counselor will complete that recommendation form. Families should confirm student participation for the 2022-2023 school year no later than May 23rd so that we can get an accurate count and start to build student schedules out. So you'll start by providing your email address and it will automatically collect your email address as well, but email is the primary method for communication when it comes to the application process. So it's extremely important that you have that. You will be asked um, again that you can provide proof of residency. If you click no, it will not allow you to proceed. You'll also be asked if your student has been accepted to any of the following programs for the 2022-23 school year, and that includes a specialty center, Gifted Young Scholars Academy, the Achievable Dream Academy, one of the IB programs, middle or high school, as well as the A Center Hermitage or Highland Springs. If your child has been accepted in the top four items, you will not be able to participate in the Henrico, Count in the Henrico Virtual Academy and one of those programs, so you'll have to choose. If your child is participating in an A Center at Hermitage or Highland Springs, your student would go in person on one day and attend Henrico Virtual Academy classes on the next, so that is still compatible with the HVA. So if you pick one of the bottom two options, it'll allow you to proceed. 
And then you'll enter your last name. And I'm just going to type in a one for everything. You'll see an asterisk next to it means it's required. Middle name is not a required field. The student ID number is not required, but it is super helpful for us when applying. Grade level for the 2022-23 school year. So what is the grade level for your child for next year? And are you currently enrolled in Henrico County Public School? If not, that is totally fine. Um, as well, you would need a recommendation in that case. Indicate the names of any siblings who are also applying for the HVA because when we get ready to consider your application, we want to make sure that we pull in students from the same household. So for rising first through fifth grade students, you'll complete this part by putting in your teacher's email address. For rising six through 12 students, you'll complete this question and enter your school counselor's email address. Notice those aren't required, so I can just proceed next through there, but it does help us in the application process. Zone school for the 22-23 school year. Again, if you're a, if you are coming from a home school or from a different division or something like that, you'll want to use this link to locate your zone school for the following school year. So you'll click on it, you'll enter your address and it'll pull up different schools. You'll select whether it's a middle school, high school or elementary school and then put that in. You'll enter your legal guardian last name. We will pull all of this information from PowerSchool or through the registration process, but this helps us initially in case we have any questions and need to get back to you on any of those. Primary phone number. Make me enter one. And then like I said, we'll change some things on this as well, but it'll pretty much be the same. What is the primary reason your student is applying to the Henrico Virtual Academy? Is it the flexibility of the learning schedule that you look forward to? Is your student able to work independently? Are there behavior concerns perhaps with, with your child from previously and you're considering this to be a better option? Is there a sibling already enrolled or are there existing health concerns not COVID related that are um, influencing your decision to join the HVA? And you can pick multiple items on that. Signing your name below and submitting the application indicates that you have reviewed the HVA online reflection tool. That is a separate link and I'll pull that up in just a second and kind of walk you through that. So you this states that you've reviewed it and you feel that this is the best fit for your student to join the Henrico Virtual Academy. Understand that students are still subject to Virginia's compulsory attendance laws. All information contained is complete and accurate. Understand that the computer camera must remain on during all instruction and interaction with the teacher or service provider. Camera usage is required as teachers request and during um, any times where they're receiving services. By applying to the program, we ask that you understand that students may not be able to transition back to an in-person school during the 2022-23 school year. So this is not a situation where your student could join the HVA and then halfway through the year return to the home school. I understand that all instruction and services must be provided while the student is physically located within the state of Virginia. Though that's a legal requirement for us that your child remains in the state of Virginia. Understand that not all courses at the secondary level are offered virtually through the Henrico Virtual Academy and that modifications to student schedules may be a possibility. Once we receive your application and you accept, we will look through the app or if you do have any questions even before that time, you can reach out to our counselor, see what courses we offer. We also have a list of secondary course offerings on our website. Every different school has a different selection of courses and we're we're the same as any other school, so we're not able to offer all specific courses. Maybe that the child's previous school would have offered, so we will do our best to fulfill um, the current course requests and we'll notify you of any changes. I understand that my child does not follow the expectation of the program that they may be recommended to attend their zoned in-person school. So that could include camera use um, and things like that. You'll put your name here and the date and submit. And like I said, by May 16th, someone will reach back out to you and notify you um, that your child was accepted or not, and then you'll be able to make that decision. 
OK, for the online learning reflection tool, I'm not going to go through all of this, but I did want to highlight some key points on here. This is a link and it's really important that you go through this as a family. The student has a portion in here where they'll fill that out. Also, the learner partner will fill that, fill that out and the learner partner is an adult selected and provided by the online learners family who will commit to providing the support indicated below for the online learner throughout the virtual learning experience. That is extremely important, especially at the elementary level, that someone is there to assist the student as needed. Um, again, some of these items are just things for you to review and to really determine whether or not Henrico Virtual Academy is going to be the best fit for you and your family. So these links, the application along with the online learner reflection tool will be posted in um, in on our website at Enrico Virtual Academy schools.us starting on April 11th. So at this time I'm going to jump back to Microsoft Teams and I know that there are uh, probably some questions so we're going to take time to answer some questions. If you do have any questions throughout the process or you have even questions after this time, go to our website. There are two numbers listed on there for our office assistants who can connect you to either myself, a counselor, or someone else who could help you answer your questions. Um, you can also email me if you have any questions as well, and I'll direct, I'll either answer your question or direct it to someone who could assist. So we're going to start, and there is a link to the spreadsheet for questions to the form in the chat. 